the thought of them can certainly make you cringe. <laughs> Indeed, they're <laughs> leaving their itchy mark all over the nation now, even right here in the valley. And they don't care if you're rich, poor, or in between. We're talking about bed bugs, but how much do you really know about the creeping insects? It's a story that may get under your skin. Houston's Rondra Moore digs deep to bring you the truth about bed bugs in his special series, Sleeping with the Enemy. Look at this home from the outside, and you may not see anything out of the ordinary. But on the inside, the owner is battling a major issue, something you've probably been talking about. Now she's sharing her story as we go inside the world of bed bugs. More than an itch. Miserable, no sleep, and getting bit. Stronger than an irritation. Just a bite, just like someone hit you with a needle, you know, real hard. 72 year old Wanda Henry of Terre Haute says bed bugs are actually driving her and her hearing impaired son out of their home. I thought about going out and laying in the street, to tell you the truth. I think it'd be safer. It's that bad. I'm, I'm serious. It is really terrible. She doesn't know how they got in. She thinks they could have started here, but the first time she noticed something wrong was here. And I thought there was something in the arms of the wicker because I'd come up with bites on my arm, you know. On her limited income, she doesn't know where she can go for help to get rid of them. In fact, she doesn't know much about the bed bugs at all. She's not alone. The first apartment where bed bugs... With more and more stories like Wanda's infesting the media, everyone seems to be talking about how gross... Itchy, crawly, dirty. How small... They're gross and they're really little and you can't see them. And how dangerous... I know that they carry diseases. They think bed bugs are. But just what are the facts? Well, we wanted some answers, so we went to Purdue University. And what we found out changed what we thought we knew about bed bugs. And when you see what we saw, you may not think of bed bugs the same way. Now, tonight, you'll meet a man who deals with bed bugs almost every day, but they're not in his home. Instead, he studies them in a lab. You'll learn exactly what bed bugs look like and just how harmful they can be to you. It is a story you certainly won't want to miss tonight at 11, 10 Central.